Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another video covering the DJI Mini 3 drone. In today's session, I'd like to discuss the zoom function built into the Mini 3 because I feel like it's one of the features that really separates this particular drone from a lot of other drones on the market. And before I get too deep into how DJI actually accomplishes the digital zoom on the drone and some of the cool advancements they built into the imaging package to help deliver a crystal clear picture at 2x or 4x zoom, I thought I'd start off with a basic understanding of how you can actually zoom in on an image that's quite a distance away from you. So fundamentally, there's two ways you can accomplish that, mechanical zoom or digital zoom. Now, mechanical zoom is something that's used on a set of binoculars, a telescope, maybe a lensing for your DSLR camera, and a mechanical zoom is absolutely the best way to get a crystal clear image of something at quite a distance away, because essentially what you're doing inside that lens is varying the distance between pieces of glass to bring that image in closer optically. And once you bring that image in closer optically, it's captured by the sensor at that native resolution, so you get an incredibly crystal clear picture. The challenge is, those lenses are complicated, they're difficult to maneuver up in the sky, and you don't find them on a lot of drones. Now, there are drones that have optical, mechanical zooms on them, like the Mavic 3, and that does a phenomenal job of pulling in an image in tight and giving you incredible crystal clear clarity. The challenge with smaller drones like this is those lenses are big, they're heavy, it's hard to build them into a drone. So what DJI's done with the Mini 3 is they've included digital zoom. Now a digital zoom basically takes the same image you see at a one to one and blows it up to two to one or four to one. Now the challenge with that on most drones is that when you pull an image out like that and blow it up, you get pixelization, it looks really fuzzy. And it's hard for the imaging package to correct for that because essentially you're missing information. It can't fill in the gaps between what those pixels are seeing. Now the difference with the Mini 3 though is number one, it's got a larger sensor. It's a one over 1.3 inch sensor, which means you've got a higher pixel density. You've got a lot more pixels on the back end to capture the information coming from the lenses, which means there's less space between those different images and it can clean that up a little bit better. The other thing DJI did with the Mini 3, which was a major improvement on this drone, is they've changed the way HDR works. Now, HDR is a function of sort of balancing really white images or bright images and enhancing dark images as well, because if you have really bright images, it tends to blow out the image. It's hard to get a balance between a bright sunny day and small details on the ground. And the same is true at night. So if you have a dark image, you'll lose a lot of details. Everything gets washed out. Well, in the Mini 3, They've got an HDR on chip algorithm that's actually built into the silicon where it can adjust for bright days or dark days. So if you've got a bright image, it'll adjust for that correctly. If you've got a darker image, it'll adjust for that correctly. So between those two pivot points, if you will, it's got the perfect HDR for both of those scenarios. Most other drones on the market have a standard HDR they apply to any image you capture, which is gonna to have to be a compromise somewhere in the middle, so it's not gonna flatter bright images, it's not gonna flatter dark images. With the Mini 3, it makes that adjustment on the fly, so it really, really changes the way those images look. Now, I've got some examples coming up. The one thing I want you to notice is when I pull in tight, it adjusts the HDR. So you'll notice when I pull in tight, like a 2X or a 4X, it actually brightens up the image quite a bit. And I like that an awful lot because I'm in closer and I wanna see those details pulled out of that image. But before I get to those examples, there's a couple of ways you can actually enable the zoom function on your drone, depending on which remote you're using. Now, if you have the DJI RC, you have a zoom wheel right here, and you can use that to slowly pull in on that particular image. And depending if you're taking videos or pictures, you'll get a 2X or a 4X zoom. You can also tap the screen and adjust it right from a 1X to 2X, or you can touch it and slide it up and down. What I find works best for me is the zoom wheel, and it's a little bit tricky to get used to it. You gotta take your time to actually get to be good at it. But if you're in a hurry and you just wanna pull in on something tight, just tap the screen and you can actually pull in from there. Now what I'm gonna show you next are some images I happened to take while I was out flying a couple of days ago. And you'll see, I'm showing you those images now, you'll see that far away I've got a great image. When I pull in tight, notice how the imaging changes. It's a little bit lighter, it's got a lot more clarity. Normally with a drone, you won't get that level of clarity. When you pull in 2X or 4X, and these are all 2X, when you pull in 2X, you'll notice a lot of fuzziness in the image. You'll also notice you lose a lot of the color depth. You lose a lot of colors, tends to be a lot more washed out. With this particular product, it looks fantastic. So all those things being equal, what DJI did with this drone was really focus on the fact 
that when you're flying up in the sky, you may want to stay away from the subject because you don't want to scare the birds, you don't want to annoy your neighbors. So this drone allows you to stay further away. And if you need to pull in 2X or 4X, you can hit the button on the remote and you're going to get a crystal clear image. So I think they've done a phenomenal job between the larger sensor side, again, a 1 over 1.3, and the enhanced HDR on chip really makes a big difference in those zoomed images. And that's pretty much all I had for today. So thanks an awful lot for watching. And again, until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy. Thank you.